let's discover the power behind mangroves. Mangroves thrive and grow in a strange no man's land between the sea and land. Mangroves have special adaptations allowing them to live in this harsh environment. Their roots take up salty seawater for the mangrove to live, but the salt is filtered out using specialized filter cells and transported to the leaves. The salt is then expelled through the leaves and is washed away by the rain. Some mangroves transport all the salt to dying leaves, which then fall off and sink to the bottom. This sand is packed with bacteria, which helps the leaves decompose and release nutrients. The nutrients help feed other plants and animals when they are washed out to the reef or the open ocean. Like us, mangroves need oxygen to breathe, so they have specialized roots which help them. Some mangroves, like the black mangroves, have roots that act like snorkels and stick up out of the water to absorb oxygen straight from the air. These breathing tubes are called pneumatophores. Others, like the red mangroves, have prop roots, which allow the mangrove to stand in the water. These roots are covered in cells called lenticels, which absorb oxygen in low tide and close during high tide to prevent the plant from drowning. Even their seeds are adapted to living by the sea. This is a red mangrove seed, called a propagule. When it falls off the tree, it will either start to go right where it lands, or it floats away, staying upright like a cork. When it floats to shallow water, the roots can grow into the sand from the bottom and the leaves can grow into the air from the top. Before long, a new red mangrove forest is born. So next time you see a mangrove, just think, they go where other plants cannot, in the no man's land between the sea and land. I'm Jessica Harvey for the Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation.